Hello everybody, welcome to this demonstration of the Atom live from Autodesk University. So what we've actually got here is an example of a piping rig which you might traditionally see on site. And what we're actually able to do while wearing the Atom is we're actually able to position and visualize that 3D design model to millimeter accuracy. And from there, we're actually able to start assessing the quality of what's actually being constructed on site. So using our controller, we can actually jump into our model menu, and this allows us to open up additional models along with that 3D piping rig. So here, we can see the mechanical piping which runs overhead, a very simple example of, say, an HVAC system, which you traditionally see on a construction site on a day-to-day. -day. But this shows the ability to be able to layer and de-layer different models all at the same time. Once we've identified an issue on site, such as this vertical stack of pipes here, we can actually start to use our select tool to isolate these individual objects so that the user is able to clearly visualize exactly what they want to see. In addition to that, we can actually identify some of the metadata which is associated to these individual 3D objects. And then simply, we can clear that and bring the rest of the model back. Moving on to our second issue, which is actually this valve, which we can see has been missed from the construction process. We can start to use a number of other tools, such as the measure tool, to start to quantify the issues with the model. We can also start to annotate the environment. So using the draw tool here, we can outline the issue and highlight it, traditionally how you might redline a drawing on a PDF. Finally, we might want to pinpoint exactly what we want the user to see. So using the arrow, we can isolate that and really pinpoint the issue. The final step is capturing this information. So we have two options, either by capturing this through a photo or a video, but by using our issue tool, which has full integration with BIM 360, we're actually able to select the individual object and fill out a full report with all the details associated to this. In addition to this, we can capture images and videos which go along with this issue. Thanks for watching, guys.